hey y'all hey y'all hey welcome back y'all already know for what a quick little video so with that being said we are going to go ahead and jump into this video as we always do now y'all we gonna go ahead and we gonna get into Tukin. okay jazz man that's what we can right get into all right so i happen to see a video that Jasmine decided to post people and what this video entailed. Jasmine said that she got a job offer. That's what the girl said in, you know what I mean, her title. Now, I said, hold up, wait a minute. It's Tookin Radio doing this for clickbait. So I said, you know what? I'm going to have to go ahead and watch this video for my lovely, lovely subscribers. So therefore, I can come onto my platform and let y'all know what it is. Now, y'all, this video, I got to tell y'all right now. <laughs> it took me for surprise, okay? See, the first actual word was job. And then the rest of the word and sentence turned to job proposal. That means basically they want to call you in for an interview. Took in, that does not mean that you are a finalist. And when they call you in, you going to be on like popcorn. It don't mean none of that. But Tukin, what got me was this right here. You said, well, you know, my, my, my school, they put me in mathematics and, you know, stuff like that. But I don't know if you know, Tukin, that um, you don't have a degree to do what you are actually saying. And, and most likely... When they decide to, you know, send you out a proposal, they did not know all of your um, education. Now, you told us that your degree is in, you know what I mean, basically being a gym teacher, personal trainer, things of that nature. Now, I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Jasmine, <laughs> are you literally coming onto your platform uh -huh, to say that you were being looked at to have a job, a career teaching high school students math? <laughs> When I heard it, I said, this daggone Jasmine, she don't know what to do with herself whatsoever. I don't know why, Jasmine. <laughs> you brought yourself up onto your platform to go ahead and throw out there, yeah, I got a job proposal, y'all, and they want me to be a mathematics teacher. That right there took in threw me for an entire loop, an entire loop, okay? I went over hills, I went behind curves, I went, I mean, it, it really threw me, okay? I said, wait a minute, how is it that Tookin has been offered a job in mathematics, but Tookin can't even budget her own money? Tookin, I remember a time where as though you couldn't even help your oldest daughter with her math problems. You said because nowadays they do a math completely different, okay? But yet, Tookin, you got yourself, you march yourself up on here and you said, yes, math teacher. Y'all think that I can't get a job, math teacher. I said, this girl right here, <laughs> I said, Jasmine, 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 
Jasmine Tookin Tookin, you are something else, okay? I tell y'all, I couldn't believe it. And then the thing of it was she ran with it. I'm like, wait a minute. So Jasmine can't even budget her own money. L let's take a step back and let's really dig into it. You had to go to Philip's mother for some money for a birth certificate. A birth certificate. Jasmine, where do they do that at? Again, you do not know anything about budgeting your money. So you mean to tell me that you are getting ready to go and be a math teacher? I already know that once they start throwing letters and ma uh, metrics and all that type of math out to you, you would run out the school and snatch your lace front completely off, okay? Not only that, Tookin, you said that you were going to be working with high school students. They would not respect you at all, okay? They, let me tell you, Jasmine, they would clown you every single day. I said, wait a minute, Jasmine that came on here and to say that she has, she has been, she has gotten a proposal to be a math teacher. That's like me coming on here telling y'all that I'm getting ready to go get a tan. Uh-huh. Y'all would be looking at the screen like, um, Reese, did you kind of say that you getting ready to go take yourself and get a tan? Yeah. That's how I looked at it with Jasmine. Okay. Jasmine, your tires on your car were bald. You decided to go ahead and get one new tire, but yet you're good in math. So do you realize that if you did become a math teacher, <laughs> which we'll wait for, the students would clown the shit out of you. Absolutely. They will be all over your YouTube platform looking at all the times that you've treated the kids like animals. Out of all the times you've had abortion after abortion. Uh-huh. They would be looking at that. You would be a you would be on the board trying to do a math problem. They will be laughing at you. You don't even know why they are laughing and they are sending a video around to each person in the classroom. That's exactly what would be happening. They wouldn't even take you seriously. doesn't take you seriously. So how is it that you are getting ready to take your self up on being a math teacher? <laughs> a math teacher, your mountaineer, has millions and millions of miles on it. Do you think inside that you should probably start looking for another car, a bigger car, a soccer mom car, because you have more children. That's where the counting comes in at, okay? You have more children. But yet, you say that you would be good at math. You literally had to have 
uh, your mom do your taxes. Okay, to do your taxes. But yet, being as though doing your taxes involves numbers with what you say you will be working with, you can't even do your own taxes. So that leads me to this right here. If you can't do your own taxes, how is it you are going to be able to stand up in front of a high school classroom and teach them math? You really, really, really <laughs> gotta think about this. What you came on here and said, it takes a special type of person, Jasmine, <laughs> to believe under any circumstances that you took in, who says the word took in, not taken, would be a fit to teach high school children math. Your kids, I'ma just say it because it is what it is, need speech classes. You are running from the fact that your kids may very well be artistic. You are running from that. But like I said before, once you put these kids into a daycare and they then go to a school, the school is going to tell you to come and get them because they have special needs that they cannot meet at that particular school. Yes, the twins, they definitely need speech. Mm -hmm. But they need other uh, help as well. Such as Aiden, he needs behavioral therapy. That's what he needs, okay? The rest of your kids, all four of them, including the baby in your stomach, they all need speech. Uh-huh. You know Reese going to say it. They all need speech. And you are failing them at this point. The longer and longer that you wait and not advocate to your children's pediatrician that they need more than speech, all you are doing is setting them back to fail. Now, a lot of people in your comments they get upset. What the fuck? What the fuck? When people like me or others know exactly what they are speaking on, it becomes, how can you diagnose someone else's child? Come on now, dog. Come on, man. No one is trying to diagnose your child, but they do have all of the characteristics as a child with autism has. So either you can either stand up, put your big girl panties on, and do what you need to do so therefore these kids will be successful or you can continue to go ahead and lay back and let them diminish when it comes to their cognitive learning skills. So you're not hurting any of us by not listening to what we are trying to kick to you. You're hurting your kids. That's exactly What's going on? But took it, let me tell you this right here. I seen you did a little video with the kids and you bought them some clothes. I thought that was beautiful. Yes, 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 yes. You mean to tell me that they have sent you a proposal 
Mm -hmm. They have sent the girl a proposal for to be a math teacher. And you don't even know or can really say what Bermuda shorts are. You didn't even know. I said this right here. Lord Jesus, help me. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Jasmine took in congratulations. Okay. Hopefully they don't ask you to take no, you know what I mean? No um type of learning exercises and they got stuff on there like what is the difference between tooking and taking? All right. Uh, what are actually Bermuda uh, shorts? Mm -hmm. I'm just hoping you know. But yeah, congratulations, girl, that you done got yourself a job offer. Congratulations. Uh-huh. So with that being said, y'all, Jasmine has got a proposal to be a uh, high school math teacher. And, um... I am going to go ahead and run out tomorrow and get a tan, okay? Since um, tooking, yeah, is becoming a, a math teacher. So with that being said, I am going to see all of you beautiful people and what? The next video later.